Water harvesting is a technique for reusing water that is normally thrown away on a building site to offset the water uses that you would normally pay for. A common example of this is using rainwater for irrigation. Another example is using cooling condensate for cooling tower makeup. What most businesses and design teams don't consider is that you can use multiple sources of water for multiple building uses. This can make a dramatic impact on how much water you can save. Let's look at the top four sources of water that can be reused. Rainwater, which can be collected from roofs. Storm water, which is collected at grade. Gray water, which is collected from gently used water in sinks and showers. And cooling condensate, which is collected from air conditioning coils. Most buildings have two or more of these sources available, but surprisingly, most harvesting systems only collect from one source of water. The top three water uses are toilet flushing, cooling tower makeup, and irrigation. So what do you think happens when we combine multiple sources with multiple uses? We save a lot more water. Rainwater is intermittent, while condensate can often be continuous. On the demand side, irrigation is intermittent, while toilet flushing is continuous. The faster we can use the supply water for its demand sources, the smaller our sister needs to be, and the more water you can save. Let's look at what Wahaso did on the MGM National Harbor Casino in Maryland. By collecting rainwater, stormwater, and condensate, we supplied water for irrigation, toilet flushing, and cooling tower makeup, saving the casino over 10 million gallons of water per year. If we had just used one of the sources, the savings could have been as low as 1 million gallons. Next time you consider a harvesting system, consider using multiple sources and multiple uses. Call Wahaso for a complimentary study. We can show you how much water you can save and help you design and build a system that can save this valuable resource and save money at the same time.